Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to try colouring some milliput, and I've got. Um, I'm going to use the silver grey because that's kind of one of my least uh, favourite ones now. I don't think it really matters, but I'm only going to mix it up in one part before I actually mix the milliput. So I think that's the colour. I think that's the colourant, and I think that's the hard hardener. So. Is quite cold because it's been out in the shed and I've got cold leaf everywhere so we might have a few gold flecks in it anyway so I'm going to cut a little bit off as well so it is quite tough and to color it I'm gonna try and start with some gold and mica powder I can find my gold mica powder gold mica powder So what did I say? I think that's the colorant. So I'm just going to get that a little bit pliable. Uh, general recommendations from what I've seen or when you're trying to color things is no more than five to ten percent of volume of material with colorant, be that dye or mica powder. So I'm just going to put a tiny, tiny little bit in here and see what happens. Obviously, it's got quite a strong colour, so it's not going to, um, you know, turn completely gold. But let's just see what happens. That's got reasonably pliable. five percent no idea really complete guess okay so let's just fold this in and work it
So we'll see how that comes out. <clears throat> and that's the method I'm going to use, so I won't make you watch all the others. I'm just going to uh, change my gloves and maybe try um, see what happens if I put some blue in there. Okay, and welcome back. Um, so, I had a little bit of experimenting, and this is what I've come up with. Uh, so you can kind of ignore those ones because they are different really puts, but uh, that is the, essentially the original color um, of the silver gray. Uh, that's silver gray with gold mica powder. That's silver gray with a red mica powder. those ones uh, so that's the red that's the gold that's silver gray with blue mica powder which has actually formed quite a different color uh, these are still drying so when they are finished I'll glue them onto a block and flatten them off so we've we haven't got texture to worry about we can see what they're like polished up um, then I tried uh, I've seen this suggested as well on forums acrylic paint so I've got um, uh, Viridium Red and Primary Blue and that's the blue, that's the red. These ones are quite speckly. Um, I'm not sure whether how well they're going to dry because uh, bear in mind the, the thinner for these is water and a, um, epoxy and water don't usually get on very well so we'll see. Uh, this one is cocoa powder. Um, didn't really do very much. And then, just because I was running out of ideas, I actually wondered what would happen if you added red to the terracotta, and it's just got a slightly warmer brown, I think. Um, I didn't put any original terracotta in, so I've got another piece that we can look at when we do the comparison. Uh, and then that's what I would call a standard Yorkshire grit at uh, um, Milliput, the yellow green, uh, yellow grey, sorry. Uh, I think it's quite green, uh, a lot of people disagree. Um, however, the yellow grey with blue mica powder added does go quite a nice green. And then with the gold mica powder added, um, I guess that's more of, difficult to say really, more of a sandy color, I suppose. Um, anyway, I will bring you back next when I've glued that, faced it off, um, given it a bit of a polish to see how they come up like. Um, okay, so it's a couple of days later and I've um, mounted the milliput blank and just, uh, very quickly sanded it and uh, cut it back finished it so um, just position that like so hopefully the lighting is fairly even that is standard silver grey milliput that is silver grey milliput with gold mica powder red mica powder blue mica powder I don't think the gold has done very much it's turned it more of a very light fawn tan color which you know could be useful none of these color changes are hugely dramatic um, but I think they're still usable this piece on the left is a piece I did originally maybe a couple of years ago now which has got all the milliputs white standard silver grey, black, terracotta and what was the then new um, turquoise uh, so it must have been I must have made this after Maker Central 2019 because uh, that's when I bought all the milliputs so we can see that the blue there is quite different uh, I hope that shows up on camera from the turquoise 
it, it is much more of a powder blue um, and that's much more of a light pink I guess the pink matte may be throwing the colors off slightly so apologize for that then we've got blue acrylic and red acrylic paints um, so these are these kind of fairly standard um, Dala Rowney paints and that's the red is Virilium Vermilion sorry and the blue is what they call primary blue so that's actually made the blue a bit darker uh, than the mica powder and the red is just subtly different maybe slightly deeper interestingly they polished up okay um, in the raw form it looked a little bit blotchy um, and my theory on that is that maybe the paint hadn't entirely mixed and when you finish it cut it back sand it polish it Yorkshire grit it all of those things the pigment will be removed because it will be much softer that's my theory behind that I don't know whether that's true or not um, <laughs> this one is quite interesting because that's cocoa powder that's just plain cocoa powder straight out of the kitchen um, and I guess I would class that as a warm grey uh, again might well have its uses you know considering if you ignore these ones down here that is all the same color from there um, and then uh, what did I do this one here is actually the standard terracotta with some of the red mica powder added it's made it a slightly deeper terracotta I suppose not really much of an effect um, this is standard plain original milliput which is the what they call yellow grey I think it's quite a green colour that is with blue mica powder added which is definitely a green um, could be quite useful because I use quite a lot of milliput in my trees that I turn so um, that I think is quite an interesting uh, colour and then finally there uh, that's um, standard mica powder with gold added to it again which mm, I don't think is huge difference it's not one I probably bother with so I am going to uh, I have ordered in fact some alcohol inks to see um, what that happens uh, what, how that changes it but I think you can see there that you can definitely get different pastel shades at least of um, milliput you know I'm wondering what will happen if I perhaps take some of the turquoise and add blue mica powder to it I think maybe that will get a much richer blue um, obviously you've got a few different starting points probably silver grey is not really worth worrying too much about black you're not going to change too much the original I think has potential to be used as a much stronger green I'll probably do my next trials with white because I think I've got more of that now um, where I was run out pretty much run out of the silver grey terracotta is going to be quite difficult to change the colour but the blue you might be able to change as well so I uh, hope that's useful to you you can just see what you get with mica powders and then with um, uh, uh, standard acrylic artist paints okay thanks very much for watching